Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking out yet another weapon to take on Terraria bosses. And today's weapon is kind of special because we got a combo. As you can see, we got one and two. Shout out to this person for leaving the suggestion. But yeah, we have the Monica's Deletion from the Jimmy's Arsenal mod. And we have the Amalgamated Bullet Pouch from the Fargo Souls mod. These two put together equals a pretty damn strong weapon. But yeah, the Monica's deletion just by itself with a, a regular bullet pouch. It's just a really strong machine gun. A really strong Uzi. It looks cool too. I love me some Uzis. Too bad the only Uzi in Vanilla Terraria is damn near impossible to get. But if you guys watched my original Master Mode run when 1.4 first came out, I got an Uzi in that playthrough. Legitimately got an Uzi. And that, that was a pretty cool moment. But yeah, really strong as you can see. It may not one tap things. As I said, we are going to get into territories of things not one tapping, but still doing a lot of damage and pretty much surpassing damage caps and stuff like that. And if we combine it with the bullet pouch, things get a little dangerous. Things get a little loud too okay hold up i gotta just throw that away all right now let's see it as you can see it's pretty good so you guys already know how this goes maybe i should put on some armor or something i, I feel like it's only right if i put on some armor maybe i should start doing this for uh the future just putting on armor maybe not accessories just armor so uh, I, I will put on the vortex armor just just this one time okay uh in the future I will put on armor that affects the weapon unless it's just a weapon that does true damage and doesn't really have any armor to really affect it but yeah let's get to it king slime i'm gonna spawn him in the air and i'm gonna shoot him out of the air oh okay i guess i guess he didn't want to spawn in the air that's good for him i'm assuming like most of the time with uh vanilla bosses they are just gonna get shredded no problem but i don't know maybe we'll see something this this gun has uh explosions i believe or the bullets have explosions so maybe when we even get to like the the brain and the eater we might see some uh some insta kills just off of the aoe explosions alone but yeah let's spawn in everything here so far looking good queen b i don't know if these bullets home let me check yeah they do home it's very light homing though you gotta be in their general direction at least a little close to them in the homing let us go ahead and take on okay the game crashed already come on bro <laughs> all right we're back from the game crashing it legit is every time i go into the map or not every time but sometimes when i go into the map the game just crashes let's do it though brain of cthulhu it's kind of gonna be tough if i want to hit all of these at once okay maybe it wasn't that tough the game kind of froze for a second when i did it but like i think i shot a bunch of bullets and then the homing kind of took care, took care of the rest i don't know let's see again that's like i clicked once like it may not have been a you know like a literal one click like that but i did click once and that click once did send out enough bullets to take out the brain that's honestly impressive on to the eater i don't know how these things are still here these are from sacred tools and they like been here for a minute i feel like i haven't had the sacred tools mod installed since like the last time we did a drill video but like those pink plants that are supposed to be there they've been here for a minute look there's another one i feel like sometimes they're just spawning even though the mod isn't installed because i feel like i break a bunch but i keep on seeing more and more all right eater let's see them okay bad bad spawn let me let me float do it like this and just like that he's dead he doesn't even get a chance to spawn and since we're here of course we gotta see turkor and lepus there's lepus see you later there's turkor see you later oh shot him in the head first god damn and you know what let's do the dark mage right now because technically the dark mage is a pre-hard mode boss maybe not the stronger version but he still is a pre hard mode boss all right on to the wall of flesh let's add more and more boxes down here uh, occasionally i break the boxes but most of the time i don't when i play just regular terraria do a regular playthrough i break the boxes because more than likely in that regular playthrough i'm gonna fight the wall of flesh again because you know the wall of flesh isn't dropping the items you want on the first fight of course not all right let's take on the mech trio here boom got all of them in here one shot one shot one shot oh damn one shot i was tapping them out barely tapping the mouse to make sure i shoot one shot because if i do like just a regular click not trying to tap it it's like this that's like three or four shots okay that was like two shots but i felt like more than that let's go ahead and knock out plantera and golem here see you later then we head up here and hit up the boy duke fish ron see you later my boy and now let us go ahead and knock out some event bosses and also take out the boy Akram here martian i'm gonna click once 
that's, it's kind of hard to click once all right let us go ahead and see the dutchman here again i'm gonna try and click once the bullets also penetrate these are some nice bullets right here these are some nice bullets i wonder what this is made out of Let, let's see right now so if i type in uh, amalgamated or amal you can see oh man it's made from a lot we got luminite in here nano chlorophyte party golden explosive venom high velocity silver meteor cursed icor and crystal and then eternal energy if, if all these bullets weren't enough goddamn eternal energy in there so it's pretty much like all bullets combined into one and then you combine that with a strong gun it's like that's a lot of damage shout out phil swift all right let's do everybody's favorite couple here morning wood and ever scream of course oh we they changed it up this time ever scream this time in front of morning wood uh, i don't know how if i could like reverse this situation or not i, I don't know i guess it's just like this i guess the order i spawn them whatever get them out of here next up sand tank bye bye the not so pretty ice queen and the pump king who tries to run away okay you're successful this time only because there's these fucking pink blocks here but if i bring his ass over here he ain't going nowhere quick hello to the ogre uh very very quick boom oh he even jumped into the shot good for him and of course betsy i still gotta play dungeon defenders eventually it's a fun game from what i've seen eventually eventually man because i can't you play as the dryad i gotta play that soon because i feel like that make a fun video all right i did everything in a weird order but i'm pretty sure i knocked out all the event bosses i don't know hopefully i didn't miss something because i did stuff in a very very weird order this time all right let's murder the boys i'm sorry i find myself murdering the boys a lot nowadays but yeah lunatic cultists get them out of here on to the pillars pillar speed run y'all are down for a pillar speed run okay okay I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, no. I put myself in the middle of the races. We got to get out of here. Damn, I, I could have put myself way closer. I don't know why I, did, I put myself so far away. Like that. Look at that. I could have just did that. And just like that, pillar speed run completed. Now, I don't know if they made the uh, spawn time for the Moon Lord faster in 1.4. But uh, recently, when I did the bow only playthrough, I feel like the Moon Lord spawned in like 20 seconds after I killed the pillars. Like, he caught me off guard. I usually can like go to the bathroom, fill up a cup of water, bust a quick nut. Like there's a lot of stuff you can get done in this version. But in 1.4, I feel like that boy was there in the instance. And here he is. Take out his top eye. We like to take out that top eye as quick as possible. Makes the fight faster. All right, so let's take on a Bision. We're going to start with the shell version. Even though I think we're going to kill it no matter what. I'm going to try and do the one tap. Yeah, it's gonna kill him no matter what, I feel like. These bullets just, they just might be too strong. They might be too strong to even do like a single tap. All right, let us do the primordials, not do. Let us kill the primordials. When can I get killing? Boom, boom, boom. Felt like Hitman right there. Felt like Max Payne. Shit was in slow-mo for me. I think my favorite thing with the Thorium, the Thorium boss is if you fight just the Dream Eater, you kill him and you just keep shooting, like this dude can break your game <laughs> so i'm noticing this a bit late i'll put a subtitle on the screen or a caption on the screen whatever when the game crashed it took off my vortex armor because it loaded an older save uh just showing the game doesn't really auto save too often but yeah i wasn't wearing vortex armor for like 90 percent of this video it's all good it doesn't matter the weapon's still been doing good but yeah on to the dog this is gonna be interesting okay never mind let's go ahead and take on the second phase here See you later. See you later. Like, it looked like it took a couple of shots, but we're not really going to notice too much because of, uh, is there an invisible block right here? <laughs> there is. We're not going to notice too much because it shoots multiple bullets, so it's kind of hard to be like, oh, one bullet killed it because it either splits into multiple bullets when you shoot it or it shoots multiple bullets. It has, like, every bullet effect on it, too, so when it does hit something, it does crazy damage, so it's kind of hard to nitpick. But yeah, we are tapping into the true test here with these bosses. Let's see yarn. Come on. Show me something crazy. Wait, that's not how you spawn them. You got to type in dragon egg. There you go. Welcome okay okay it's doing good damage like we gotta respect the good damage anytime a weapon can do good damage against a calamity boss it's still respectable because calamity bosses are just like that hold on he drops he drops loot see that's how you can tell i haven't played this part of calamity in like a regular playthrough in a long time because like why did he drop loot and then go into second phase was that a bug i don't know but let's just let's just blast them at this point put a whole clip into his ass i noticed when i shoot like it's trying to shoot like other projectiles on the map too oh and he's dead so that wasn't too bad 
you know, it's not no insta kill, but still respectable. So let's go ahead and do the guardian and the eidolon worm. There's a there's a baby guardian apparently. <laughs> and let's see the real guardian. Oh, hold up! I shot once. I shot once right there. Now it probably wouldn't get one tap if we didn't have calamity installed. But calamity's installed. The anti fun mods installed. There you go, dead. Still a respectable kill. Now I'm assuming it's not really gonna be able to do much to the Eidolon Worm if it couldn't do anything to the Dungeon Guardian. I don't know, you never know though. Uh, I mean, that's still decent damage given like how the Eidolon's Worm defense works. Like I should've brought a one tap up. Cause not even the Tome can like kill this thing, which is always impressive. Unless it's the tail that I gotta kill. No, it's the head. All right, this is the easy way how to get this guy to despawn so I don't have to leave the world. You know, you just, just let him murk you. All right, let us do Supreme Cal. Oh, look at the look at the jukes. Oh, ooh, ooh. hit him with a little jiggle. Oh, go down, go up, go down, get hit. Still, Sepulcher did not really take any damage. Here. But let us go ahead take out all the balls, of course. Uh, is that enough balls? Oh, you're so lucky you're behind us. Oh, okay, okay. That's some good damage. We do have to do the fight the long way, though, so I'll just skip to the end of the fight. All right, there you go. Supreme Cal is dead. See you later. All right, so let us check on our next tier of bosses here. We got the Deviant and we got the Mutant. Let's say hello to them. The Deviant. Hello. You're dead already. The Mutant. Hello. Okay, okay. That was, that was like one click. Like, this gun does some crazy damage. Even just with like one little click. Like, look at that. Oh my god. But let's go ahead and let's gun his ass down. See you later, mutant. But we're on to the finale. You guys wanted to see this the most. Of course, Ek Death versus Monica's Deletion plus the Amalgamated Bullet Pouch. Can it be done? Let's see. Oh, fuck. I don't think it can be done. Well, honestly, I don't know what I expected. I expected some resistance, and also because I think the guy in the comment told me that it would insta-kill Ekdeath. I don't know. I guess I'll do the outro as it goes. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure to leave more strong weapons to test out in this series. People were telling me about a weapon in the Universe of Swords mod that's a cheat weapon, and that's originally what I was going to record this video. It's called, like, the Caldebla Borg or something like that. Cannot find that weapon in the Universe of Swords mod. I don't know if people got the wrong mod or what. Even if I don't have the specific name, I was not able to find kale or borg anything with those names in the universe of swords mod so i don't know what people have been talking about when they're talking about that but yeah leave more weapon suggestions stuff like that make sure to follow my twitch because i'm gonna be streaming remember the game raiders socials are coming out soon i'm gonna have an instagram and a game raiders snap where you guys can follow me you'll see some extra dumb shit of what i do every day on there hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you next time